Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Standoff 2 on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. Also, gamers can play the game with 120 FPS on Bluestacks we will be able to easily download and install Standoff 2 and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Standoff 2. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all folks, the first thing to do is to open our favorite web browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's go to this URL that I have highlighted in green. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. You don't need to type anything, because I provided a link in the video description and the first pinned comment. We landed here on our site of Usitility, exactly where we include a detailed demonstration on how to download and install Standoff 2 on computer. We scroll down a bit and press on the Download Game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we land here on the website of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to run to play Standoff 2 on the PC. It is now obvious that we access some advantages of using that emulator. Now we are on the way to proceed to download the Standoff 2 by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green color. We then click on it. And the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, this is the download. It is an executable file. What we are going to do is to launch the executable file, so we click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make changes to the laptop or device. We said yes. I minimize the web browser to see the installer better. The installer is very easy to use. It includes two options, install, and setup path. I will explain what setup path genuinely does. We simply simply click on it. So we see that we get here the path where in fact the emulator will be placed. If we want to change this directory we need to click on that, browse, button, and we opt for another directory and install the emulator wherever we would like. I will leave it by default. I simply click back. So I pick install. Voila. The install starts and it will go forward in the download of these MB that are displayed on that screen. At the time you save it on your hard disk, it may be more or less megabytes. The download rate might go at a higher speed or slower, based on your type of connection and depending on the velocity of the emulator hosting servers. Right now they're working extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has actually been launched instantly. As you can observe, down here, there is a progress bar which will fill up then when it reaches the ending, the emulator will be launched for the first time. The fact is the emulator has already been launched, here for the first time. Before we carry on, as you can discover, it made two icons right here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon is going to be the only one we are considering. When we have to operate Standoff 2 on our laptop or computer, we double-click on this specific icon and consequently launch the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we do the next step, which is actually a must, and this is to access the Google Play Store. And we will click on Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is presented. Here we need to log on. At this time when we are on this page, we are required to perform the next phase that is definitely absolutely mandatory. So we simply click on, sign in. At this moment it announces, checking info. It can from time to time get blocked in, checking info, and this fails to move forward. If that's the case, you can try to connect to your account after a few hours and it may probably be sorted out. At this moment we are going to type in our email and password. The email must be a Gmail email and its related password. As an example you may use the exact same email you're using at this time in your YouTube account. Thus I am going to provide my data and I will go back when I have done it. That's it, data inserted. Below is Google welcoming us and providing us their terms of service. We must say yes to them all by hitting, I agree. Following, it allows us to back up to the Google Cloud. You could let it checked and this will create a backup of the data files on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to check it, you do what you want. We click on accept. Google Play Store is launched by default and on autopilot. To install the video game, we need to go to the emulator desktop for Android by clicking the icon indicated in green. Right now that we are on the desktop of the Android emulator, we observe that we have now here the install app game button. We click or double click on the button. There we have the video game. How about we click on now on the install button that I'm displaying now in green. 
and this will start the setup. Straight away it should download on your desktop or laptop and install the game, it will take some time or it may be almost immediate. This all depends on the web connection. It's already finished setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this button that I'm presenting in green, that allows you to launch Standoff 2 for the very first time. We're presently on the emulator desktop, and we are on the way to simply click on that new Standoff 2 software icon which was provided. This game is launched for the first time on your device. Currently there we get it, I can mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the volume of the emulator. It's here. We have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This way we won't rely on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of your emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the fullest, we could switch on the big screen, for which we have two options. This is simply the first one, we just click on this particular icon which I am designating in green. And the display screen is maximized, having one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. Assuming that we desire to launch the video game using all the screen, we click on this particular icon. And then we would probably already be enjoying the Android game in full screen setting. To exit the complete screen functionality, just click the F11 key. And then we would undoubtedly already be in regular computer screen setting. At present, I'm going to clarify you the computer keyboard mapping that is actually rather interesting. This means we definitely will be capable to play the video game more easily. The first point is to click this app icon. And here you will be able to make the recommended adjustments. I most certainly will leave the normal configuration, though if you prefer to modify this, you can also do it without having problem. Clearly, the emulator is completely in our language. Once in a while it occurs that the emulator is started in the wrong language, for example, in Chinese language. And therefore to set it up in the right language we browse here to the cogwheel. Then right here within additional controls, we simply click on the language drop down. We may very well choose the language we need, English, Mandarin, etc. When the language is selected, we would save, the emulator would restart, and also the video game, next time we launch it, would of course be in the picked language. At present, there is another aspect that we have to take into account, and it's that we will receive an email telling you that a different device has been linked to this Google account. It should check with us if we are the ones who have connected that device. Of course, we shouldn't get worried, because the emulator is simulating in Google Android electronic device. In order to see which electronic device is currently being emulated, we arrive right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. Therefore we go here to the, model, option. And now we discover that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for this video user demo. I believe you enjoyed it, especially that you found it helpful. If that's so, offer it a good like, subscribe to the channel, and if you have comments, issues or suggestions, leave them in the comment area down below. You can even leave comments on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams every once in a while, you have it down below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Mouse click on any of these video tutorials that happens to be showing up on the computer screen and see you in the future video tutorials. Bye.